In this project, we will learn how to draw dragon eyes. You will need an 8.5 by 6 inch white paper, pencil, sharpener, and I'm using Prismacolors but you can use colored pencils. Step 1. Draw your dragon eye. Here's a graphic for you to come back to later when you are drawing. This will make more sense as we continue. Start by drawing the shape of the eye. I like to start with a circle to begin with and then make the lines go out from there to a point. Notice that my dragon eye is kind of at an angle on my paper from corner to corner. Now draw on the eyelids, top and bottom. Now you're going to want to choose a scale shape to go around your eye. This is going to create texture for your dragon. Continue drawing your scales. Make sure to choose a different variety of shapes and sizes. Remember dragon scales are not all the same. They are kind of like snowflakes. Each one is different in its own way. It is more interesting to have small, medium, and large scales all in the same place. Be creative and invent an original eye. Step two is to use black over all of your lines. Using a black colored pencil, draw over all of your lines. To give character to your work, thicken some of your lines. You should also leave some thin lines. Step 3 is to learn how to make a color gradient. How to create a color gradient with colored pencils. You should recognize this on the right. It is our color wheel. To do a color gradient, you need to choose neighboring colors or close colors on the chromatic circle or your color wheel. For example, red, orange, and yellow are all next to each other on our color wheel. You always want to start by coloring with your darkest color, in this case, red. Push very hard to make that red show. Then you're going to slowly lessen the pressure you put on the colored pencil to progressively make it look invisible. Then you're going to start with your second color, this case is orange. Push very hard starting near the red. Then you'll do the same thing with the lightest color, yellow. You're going to practice this next. Here's something to think about when you're coloring your dragon. This is how to create the effect of volume in your picture. To give that impression, you do not want to color in straight lines, like you probably always have before. You need to follow the shape of the space that you are coloring. So if I'm coloring this sphere, I'm going to be turning my hand in the shape that it's going. Now it is your time to practice. Make sure you check out our canvas page to get this color gradation worksheet and make sure to send in a picture. Now that you have learned how to do a color gradation, step four is to color your dragon eye. Start with the center of your eye. Use your pencil and colored pencils to create an original iris. Make sure you are using a color gradient like in the preceding exercise. Next, use the same technique to color the scales. You can be creative in your color choices. Just make sure you're following that chromatic circle when you're doing your gradient. Think about using different colors than what's in the iris to add contrast. I 
I hope you enjoyed creating these dragon eyes and I can't wait to see it.